How you doing here? <clears throat> okay, so um, I changed. Oh yeah, the bit rates are gonna be the same. But I went ahead and saved my profile through my name. I, I'd have to show that in the screenshots, I guess. But that's not actually what I was here to talk about. All right, so I tried. Yeah, we don't need that. No live stream for you today. Not with. Uh, now with OBS Studio, open it up. <clears throat> I got sidetracked on setting up. I decided to change my setup a little bit in the uh, simple screen recorder. Start to understand it a little better. Ah, the name is different now, but I can change that later. Simple screen recorder. I think the other ones all say, no, they say simple screen recorder, Dawn, simple screen recorder. You know, well, I liked it, have, I like the way it was. <clears throat> Boy, that, that, that is awfully long, it makes the name longer though with the dashes in there. And the longer that name, base name is, the uh, less space I have to put the descriptive part of the name in there. <clears throat> so yeah, that's actually pretty good, I guess. Maybe I don't even need Dawn in there. That's probably the absolute best way to do it. Yeah, it is. Okay. <clears throat> so because YouTube only allows such long, so long of a name. Okay, I'm way sidetracked again. Okay, so I, you know, I turned off Simple Screen Recorder, opened up OBS, and uh, it just crashed again. You know, I hit Start Stream and it crashed. I'm sure it would record. I mean, I, I guess it would. Now, there's still one doubt left in my mind since I didn't get rid of the profiles and, you know, I did back them up because I thought they were going to be deleted and I was going to, well, I thought I would just import, you know, my scene collection and my uh, profiles, but they were all still there. They were all never went away. So uh, if they had anything to do with the problem, then I didn't get rid of them. <clears throat> so uh, I guess I need to uninstall and go delete that folder. I'll show it again in this video. Uh, let's see. Dot config OBS. It's towards the top. See, that was evidently was still there. That's what I'm figuring. I didn't look. I forgot to even check. You know, if I would have looked after the uninstall and saw that, I would have had a clue, you know, and I could have uh, deleted it. I already backed it up, or I could have backed it up again and then you know deleted it or just move sometimes i just move them until i'm done with what i'm doing and then if i need it i just move it back that way there's no accidental if you move it you don't actually change the file permissions or anything you know if move it within the same like home directory like don't move it out of the home directory and all that if you back it up to another drive then you're able to change the permissions of course all i did was back it up to another folder in my home directory so the the backup I have would be fine with my documents oh that's not it oh there's documents I just backed it up to here right there I gave it a name so I could kind of know where it went back because I expected it to be gone but uh, <clears throat> anyway um, yeah disappointed not, I, I I'm not surprised. Everything I know tells me that was a long shot, really a long shot. But I was really hoping it would fix it. I wanted to be wrong <laughs> because I didn't want it fixed. And uh, <clears throat> I did see in, um, well, I saw something in here. Let's see, since this is not uh, recording, I can go into any settings I want. I saw something in here that gave me an inkling that I might be able to stream with OBS in a backdoor way. Uh, where did I see that? Right here, uh, let's see. Well, there's where I was talking about the uh, output. You know, the standard, they just call it standard or custom output FFmpeg. FFmpeg only gave me the choice of um, oh you know what I think I was just crazy 
I could have picked FLV out of there. There's all of them. I think FF Impug is lighter on the system. Um, see, I've been using standard and FLV. I couldn't leave that like that because uh, I wonder why I'm. I'm well, that's just for recording, though. Still, that seemed to be a lot easier on the system, so. Video screenshot, too. Streaming. This is what uh, YouTube wants. Well, I could do go down to 3,000, but I figured it'd be better to be above than be, you know, at the very bottom of what it can take. And then you don't need to do anything with that. Recording. That really shouldn't. Uh, the only thing that would do is just like make, uh, make a better file or make it e and or make it easier on the system. I, the best file I've seen is MPEG, MPEG, you know, MP4, MPEG4. Uh, and you can make that with FFmpeg. Oh, FFmpeg output type. Oh, there it is. Output to file or to URL. Now, I could copy and paste my YouTube URL there. And uh, now that's an interesting idea. But you don't have the... Uh, I'm going to just see what happens because now that I'm uh, uh, still make conflict with the app I'm using, but <coughs> let me see. I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't think this is a specific. Well, even if it was, let me see. I don't think it's specific to my channel, the, the, Oh, here's how you, here's how I can get there the quickest. Don's Lab dashboard. Use my little shortcuts. Oops. Yeah, see, it, it hides your, uh, yeah, that's just a standard YouTube ingest server, is what I thought. And then your stream key, you wouldn't want to show to, you know, I wouldn't want to show you. And since I'm doing a desktop video, I have no way of hiding that while I'm doing the desktop video. I mean, that, like I said, that's fine. But I'm just going to try this. Where is this thing? I want that on Workspace One. Oh, no, that's not going to move. Okay, so I'm going to put it in. Uh, I'm going to put that URL in there. And see if I can go to, through the back door. I think what's going to happen is it won't. Uh, well, I do have the uh, credentials in this application. So, you know, it's not entirely unimpossible. And since I, but I don't think I can run both apps at the same time. You know, and that's only a desktop recorder, the one I'm using right now. And this one does everything. So, still not a fix. But I'm just so darn curious about it. But what it's really meant for is for your local network, I think, you know. Uh, well, I mean, it could be anywhere, actually. But um, this is recording. See, you're recording there. You're not streaming there. So, But I have it set the same. I have all my recording settings the same as my streaming settings. So audio encoder, lib, mp3, lane, default. mp3 is actually, I think, the... I just realized, I think there's one other thing that YouTube will take, AAC. I'll have to look at their page. Well, let's look right now while we're thinking about it. I just, just now realized, what if that was the problem? Let's see. It's, it hasn't been that recent so since I've been there, so... Uh, that's it right there live encoder settings now I'm doing 1080p so 1920 by 1080 and this is what I keep talking about the bit rate 3,000 to 6,000 kilobits per second and I'm at 4,000 <clears> but oddly enough when it was working it was set on 2,500 now the encoder settings 
RTMP streaming. Hmm, okay. Have to pay attention to that then. Yeah, RTMP. Well, yeah, the URL you're using sets that. And then uh, keyframe frequency. Do not uh, recommend it to do not exceed four. I had mine manually set on four, but um, I put it in and put it on auto because I thought maybe it could be a problem, but it never, you know, it didn't help. Okay, now audio codec at AC or MP3. I'm going to leave it on MP3. That was the default, and that's what it's always been on. Bit rate uh, encoding CBR, which is constant bit rate. I found that out on a video the other day. <coughs> Advanced settings. I really couldn't even find those. Well, other than the audio bit rate, <coughs> which mine was on 160, and I went in and set it to 128. But there's a setting in here that says, let's see, on stream, no, on output, oh, on streaming, it says enforce streaming service settings. I think that's why I was okay. I think it was changing the settings from whatever, and whatever I might have done here, it was changing them to work with YouTube, I think. See, there's the keyframe I set to zero. And, uh, but I haven't tried this. So I'm going to try it just to see. And I left all that. Well, no, that I set. I, I didn't change that. Yeah, that's on the default. It says 250. But that evidently is not the same as keyframe interval seconds. This is keyframe interval frame. Okay, so I don't know how that got set. It's on. I didn't do it, um, so it should be on the defaults. And I don't believe I ever messed with it to accidentally mess it up. And then FLB is my uh, my encoder. It says default now, since I changed to uh, output URL instead of save file. And then oh, I see. That's those two changed, which is what I wanted anyway. So. And then the audio, 128, and I'm not using the replay buffer. Okay, so I'm going to hit a screenshot of that. Screenshot of that. Hit OK. Now, where's OBS run off to? Okay, there we go. And there is another one page somewhere that tells you, like, I know it takes MP4s. And M FLV and so WebM, I believe, doesn't act like it wants to go to that. And uh, I think I'll close that. But anyway, the other page, I don't know where it is. Let's see if we can move it to where I want it. There we go, Workspace One. Now, I'm going to take a, a risk and hit start streaming. And let's see, that's not desktop, that's not desktop. I won't go to the desktop, I can go to my cameras maybe without, if you try to grab the desktop at the same time as I'm recording a desktop, I'm pretty sure it'll just um, crash something. It may just get an error saying it can't, it's busy, you know, or it might crash this, or it might even crash the other app, or it might take it away. I've seen <clears throat> some things, I've tried a lot of different things like that, and I've seen some things <clears throat> like take it away from the app that was already using it. Some apps are stronger than others. All right, this one I thought was strong, but I don't know. It keeps crashing. All right, let's let's just do it. Okay. Recording by now. Hadn't crashed yet. There it went, and it didn't. Yeah, I, it would have been like saying, "Oh, you, you know." tail end of the stream going offline if it had been tried to work. Okay. <clears throat> well, I'm just fiddling around when I could. I'm, I told myself, I said, I'm too tired. I'm not going to continue. And now I'm fiddling around some more. So um, I'm going to open it up and get that mess out of there before I forget. I'll try one more thing. I'm going to hit record and see what happens. Well, maybe I shouldn't do that during this video. Yeah, now there it is. Now you can say report, which I haven't done that lately. Whoops, came up fast for a change. 
Uh, I might look at that in a second. <clears throat> Let's go back to those settings before I forget how to fix them. <coughs> This is actually on the recommended for YouTube. So, uh, oh, output recording. Now I'm going to change it back to output to file. That goes back to normal. Yeah, before I thought I had, I, I didn't have an option to pick another uh, container, I swear. Video encoder, FLV. Now it's all there. All this different stuff is there. I can only do MP4, live MP3. Now I could try AAC audio, but MP3 lame. That should be perfect. Lame is the MP3 encoder, the free open source MP3 encoder. Hit apply. But I did see uh, the last time I tried MP4, um, I, it just I just selected FFmpeg and it only it just I didn't forgot to look and it did MP4. And then later I tried to look and see if I could change it and it had no other options. But now it does. Well, I did you know reinstall. So well, let's try that. I am wondering about changing that to. Was it AAC? Yeah. But this one is supposed to be the more... MP3 is much more widely used. So more players could play it and everything. Okay, now that's the way it was before, so it would just crash. But uh, let me put it on the camera so that it's not doing anything that's even close to related to the desktop. And... Uh, We'll see if it will record. Okay. Are we recording? Seems like we're recording without any problem. Let's see. We, yeah, we're still recording over here. Well, I'm, like I said, I'm still pretty sure if I were to go to the uh, desktop, it might crash my... Oh, I never did stop. I was going to stop this video and start another one to do this experiment. And there's my camera going at the monitor. <coughs> and uh, so it'll record. So um, this it still does that because I can still make my normal videos and just have to keep uploading them. I'm going to stop that now. Let's go look at the file that I was making. Well, actually, let's, let's do this. There it is. Oh, we'll just play it back now. And see what it. Okay. So recording. Yep. So we're recording over here. Now, like I said, I'm still pretty sure if I were to go to the uh, desktop, it might crash my. Well, I never did stop. I was going to stop this video and start another one to do this experiment. And there's my. Camera going at the monitor. <coughs> and, uh, okay, I forgot that it might be silent. I probably wasn't getting any. Oh, yeah. Let me. Uh, how can I do that? So it'll record. So um, this still does that because I can still make my normal videos and just have to keep uploading them. Looked to me like it was working. Looked to me like it was working. Uh, it sure looked like the bounces in the audio were going along right with me talking. Cause that's the noise. And then, uh, you know, it, was, it wasn't jumping up as high, but uh, I didn't. <clears throat> that would make sense with the desktop video. So um, I guess it does record desktop video, no, audio. Okay, so. Uh, all right. Let's see. Let's get back off of that now. It looks like my camera's freezing up. Okay, so I'm going to stop this video because I'd like to keep this one. And I will experiment with one or two more settings, like changing the audio <coughs> to AAC before I quit. Let's see, is this thing still working? Yeah, okay. Yeah. 
And it's, yeah, I made it. Uh, oh, yeah, I tried to raise the kilobits to 4,000 kilobits, but it was not going to save a file. It was going to a streaming service. So that would be how I can't show that in here. I'd have to be recording in OBS. I'll go into figuring that out later. But, uh, yeah, that's how I would reco re try to uh, stream to YouTube. Okay, let me see save the recording and I'll come back actually I'm tempted to try that streaming to YouTube with this one <clears throat> all right we'll see